Hey guys, JHMiller01 here, and welcome back to another video. I'll tell you guys, this video, oh my gosh, the fail of all fails. Literally anything that could have gone wrong on this trip went wrong, and you guys are going to see that as the video progresses. Um, I'm not going to say too much, just let's get into the video and uh, sit back and relax and enjoy. Alright, we have made the trek over to the little duck stand. We are going to start out with this little square build and dive very deep. Caught one on the other side on it. Don't know if these fish have been pushed up shallow over here enough to bite one of these. Maybe that other fish was just a fluke incident. But we're going to give it a few throws. Not a big one. At all. <laughs> little baby. Five fish limit. That's a little one pounder. But we'll take him. There's another one. Another little small one. Man, these little babies are just absolutely wanting the bluegill today. Look at this. These two fish that I just caught. <laughs> are the two smallest fish I've caught out of this pond this year. Oh, no, 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 sir. You are not getting me a treble hook today. Mmm. Try getting that hook in me, didn't you? See ya. I'm gonna pause it. I don't even think he wanted it. He just swiped at it. See, this guy's actually smart. Smart little fish. Grow up and be like that too. He's only feisty once I got the hook out. And then I'm gonna fish it over here again as well as the jig. I'm gonna give them both. See, there's a fish. It's a little bit better, but it's still nothing I wanna weigh. It's like a pound and a half. It looks like another male. All right, see you, little guy. That's a fish. Put it on the fall. Again, it's a small one. I'm just gonna consider all these fish that I'm catching now like a pound and a half. This one's probably two. We just bit it on the fall. It looks again. Like another male again, not very big, not just fat. He ate it, but it's not the size we want. Hmm. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna strictly yo yo this for a second. Oh my god! Pull drag. Freaking spit it, man! I didn't get a good look at him. I didn't get a good look at him. Oh my god. Pull drag right off the hook set and spit it at my feet. Man, I needed something like that to happen though, guys. I mean, you're not gonna catch every one of them. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I hate losing fish like that, especially that one. I mean, I set the hook on him, ripped drag, my line's just sitting there squealing, and popped right off. Didn't even get to see him. I mean, you can't get mad about it. You gotta learn from it. I was definitely rushing. I was trying to get him in quicker than I should have been, and I lost him. So I paid for it, and um, moving on, I know not to do that. <laughs> Guys, that one hurts. That was like the most certain bite I've ever got in my life. Set the hook on it. And baby, it was on. <laughs> Freaking ripped drag. Squealing my line. I think he buried me in that grass right there at the shore. Just enough where he could get just a little bit of leverage. And just spit me. I didn't get a good look at him either. There's... 
There's no telling how big that fish was. I ain't gonna ever catch him. Today, at least. Man. Guys, I'll tell you, that is one of the most disheartening moments that you can have as a fisherman. Set the hook on a fish, have him just peel drag. And then not catch him. And not even get to look at him. If I saw him, and I knew he was 7, 8, 9 pounds, I got a fish. But if I knew he was that big, and then I lost him, I would have been upset. But now, there's just no telling. See, I just lost another one, man. That's another three and a half, four pounder. Gone. I don't even know what's going on today, man. I just love losing nice fish. That's what it is. Man, I'd do anything to see how big that fish I lost at the shore was. That's the other part of it. I wish it came up and jumped. You know, just so I could see it. And know what I was getting ready to lose. Oh, another one. Solid fish. I think he's getting ready to come up and jump or something. He's head shaking. Looks like a better one. Running me. He's a solid one. I got three and a half, four. I mean, that, that, this is a more respectable fish. He tried pulling some drag on the initial hook set, but not like that other one did. That other one was just from the start committed. Top of the mouth, AOT, link in description. You guys know how this goes. 214. Okay, we'll take a 214. Got one. When it's up shallow, see another little small one. Uh, you can't really let it sink that much, so what you do, another male, what you do is you just run it like you're, you know, just reeling it in, and you give it that little tap every once in a while, makes them want to eat it. A little small bass. But yo yo again. Right after you give it that little tap right here, that little lift, and it stops. Like that, see? He's not hooked good. Oh, he's a little baby. <laughs> after you give it that little tap, they just come up and crank it. I don't know what's up with all these little babies, but I'm not here for it. <laughs> Looking for a 10, maybe a 12. <laughs> I ain't care, that popped off. That's a. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe a 12 absolutely slams it, but you're not a 12. Maybe a 12. Gonna catch me a bass today. <laughs> that was a little baby. You know what? Pop off. No, okay. I always try to give these little baby ones a chance to just pop off right before they come in. Bonnie just did. <laughs> Wow. Oh, he hit the water and he's jumping already. Wow, that thing hit the water and my rod just went down. I was, I was wondering what was going on there. We'll weigh him. We'll weigh him. He ain't gonna be anything. Just absolutely absurd, but we'll weigh him. 2-4. We will take a 2-4. Bye-bye, little guy. He's still on. He tried getting me in grass. I think this will be one we weigh, perhaps. Yeah, we'll weigh him. And swing her up. AOT. Again. 2-4. Man, we're going to need a few big fish to really get this bag up. If they move across the pond and they're over there just living it up by the island where I could be, more power to them. But I'm catching my fish. And see, that's a big one. Definitely much bigger than these other ones. And as long as she don't pop off, 
I'm gonna get a weight just to see. You know what I mean? Just to see what this fish is. I mean, maybe two, two, four, two, five. Not crazy. Enough for me to weigh, yes. Two, two. Blue to the bottom now. Yeah, they're eating some moving bait. See, here's one of the moving bait. I mean, it's a solid fish. I ain't gonna weigh this one. I mean, it's, it looks like another male. Where are the bigger fish? And that's my question. Throw this bluegill, uh, chatterbait, hot craw, back over into the like the shallow shallows, and we got a baby fish, a baby fish, dude. Was the fourth freaking tiny fish, smallest fish in my freaking life? Can't even look down his mouth. I mean, all the fish caught the other night that went for that bag were caught out of a freaking pocket. Right there, bit it right by the shore. Stocky little fella. Man, this has just the shape. And right down his throat is a damn crawdad. Why wouldn't he bite my freaking jig? But he would happily, happily bite the bluegill profile bait. I gotta take a picture of this. This is like the fattest fish. Man. Healthy, but not the size. That's cool. <laughs> It's like he came back for it. I thought I had him. Let him go. Next thing I know, he's back on it again. Healthy little bass. Wow. Oh. Wow. Try and keep him away from the other side. I saw... That's probably the biggest one of the day, too. I saw a wake just swim out and just take it yeah easily probably the biggest of the day i ain't gonna weigh him i know he's probably three something wow <laughs> love seeing him do that good stuff oh that's that stump Man, see, that's the thing, you gotta... I can't afford to lose this bait. Guys, man, I can't afford to lose this bait. I know I've said that, but man, I really can't. Okay, we're going in. We are going in. Shoes are going in the washer tonight, baby. Man, I hate doing that, but I've caught too many fish on this bait. That's far out there too, man. That sucks. All right, well, we're doing it. Once the feet go in, there's, there's no going back. All right, we're doing it. Feed her in the lake. Okay, now we're really in it. Guys, I am soaked from head to toe. Yeah, guys, I can't do this. It's too slick. Nah, it's too slick, bro. That's garbage. Well, guys, that's how you go in a lake after your favorite bait and don't even get it back. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. Well, if you guys ever, ever need a tutorial on how not to return your missing bait. Ugh, come back to this video. You know, the amount of immediate regret as soon as I stepped in. I knew that was a little bit too far. Not to mention the fact that I absolutely just busted my
<laughs> just trying to get it back. I didn't even get it back. Just when I thought losing that big fish was the highlight of the trip in a bad way, I had to go and bust my ass in the lake. <laughs> that lure is still there today. I went out there today, like at the time I'm filming this. That lure is still there. I see it. Um, God, I love that lure. That hot craw. Link in description. You guys got to get one of those. I'm not even just saying that because I'm sponsored. I'm telling you. That hot craw produced more fish in a short period of time than I've had from any other bait in all my life fishing. So, I mean, pick one up. It, it represents a bluegill like no other, and it's really worth the money. It's cost effective and it works. Link in description. But anyway, fell in, drove home freaking soaking wet, and yeah, there we go. That that was uh, that was it. That was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this absolute dumpster fire of a fishing trip <laughs> it was interesting in its own ways and subscribe for more hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat there'll be more videos like this in the future i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time jh Moro went out see ya